Okay, so what I've done is I've uh, just gone and said file new, reload startup file. So you're starting from a blank file. Next, you want to go ahead and press X to delete the um, queue. Then you want to press shift, uh, then you want to go to file, user preferences. And you need to make sure that you can import uh, 3D images. So if you just go to add-ons and then in the search bar, search for images, and then you'll see import images as planes, you need to make sure that this is ticked. Once it's ticked, you can go ahead and save the user settings. That'll save this setting on your version of Blender. Next, you can go to File, Import, and you'll have this option to import images as plain, so you can click that. Once you choose that, you can go and navigate to the image you would like to use. And, oops, sorry, I'm going to Command Z that. File, Import Images. And uh, just single click on the image you want to import, and then um, down here on the left, you have this option here to import it as shadeless. If you do that, you don't have to worry about lighting for being able to see your um, uh, image. And then go ahead and import the image as a plane. Now that the image is imported, it's still selected. So if you press tab to go into edit mode, and then you press E to extrude, um, by default, I'm already in the Z um, extrusion. If you aren't already in Z, you can press Z and it'll control your extrusion so that you extrude in a straight line. Just go ahead and extrude it as far as you would like. You don't want it too deep because um, then it'll be too big of an object to print, but you also want it to be able to stand up on its own. So give it enough depth that it's stable, um, but not so much so that it's huge. And there you go, and go ahead and click to accept that extrusion. And now you've got um, your extruded images. Image, you can go down here and change your view to material. And now if I go ahead and um, tab into object mode and press uh, control and slide my fingers, I can go ahead and zoom in and now I can see my image. So this is the image that I am going to be um, turning into a 3D object. Up to go into edit mode and then I'm going to go over to the tools on the left side and I'm going to click subdivide and I'm going to just go ahead and subdivide a bunch of times until the dots are close enough together that I feel that I'm going to be able to have enough control over my image. Then I can go ahead and click out of edit mode and go into sculpt mode. And in sculpt mode, you're able to um, pull out aspects of your uh, image. And if you just want to scroll down to symmetry over here, and um, by default, you've got some mirroring on, which means that anything you do in the X axis will get um, mirrored into the other axis, at uh, the other side of X. So you want to go ahead and undo that if you don't want it happening on both sides of X. So now you are in sculpt mode. Right now I'm in the brush tool. You can click this box to change um, what uh, tool you're using. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stay in brush and then you've got these options here which control uh, the size of your cursor which changes the amount of impact that you make when you pull. If I just click and drag over the image, I am just pulling it out, um, but if I press shift and drag over the image, I'm pushing in. So that's how you're going to control that, and you can control your pixels here to make um, your brush uh, smaller, now it's tiny, or you can make your brush really big to have a bigger image. And good luck!